<laughs> Gravity Chase, what is this, like a Mario Kart clone? Oh man, I'm gonna chew up this game and spit it out. <laughs> Look at it, it looks like a baby game. I bet you these cars move so slow. Three, two, one, let's go. Whoa, 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 too fast, too fast, make it stop, too fast. What the heck? Have a warm and safe winter season from being fun gaming. And this is our review of Gravity Chase. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by Three Pixel A, and it was published by Three Pixel A. <laughs> It's set to be released on the Xbox console on January 31st for the price of $11.99. And welcome to Gravity Chase, the futuristic anti-gravity arcade racer with a twist. <laughs> you get it? With a twist? <laughs> the track goes all the way around and twist! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Gravity Chase is a racing competition that takes place on tunnel tracks for super fast 360 degree zero G racing. Skill and precision piloting are required to follow the optimum line while using strategy to pick up power ups and weapons in order to progress through the race series. Or, if you're like me, just barge a path wildly through the track while attempting to hit every boost and power up within your path. The game supports four player split screen gameplay. That can be a super selling point for those parents looking for a way of entertaining multiple siblings and friends without running a multi-console gaming arena in their basement. Hey dad, that sounds just like Level Up Arena in Kansas City. <laughs> That's right, Timmy. Level Up is a pretty cool place, isn't it? It's the Midwest's largest gaming tournament arena and the third largest in the U.S. Did you know they're hosting a Fortnite tournament for ages 10 to 14 this weekend? You should tell your mom to sign you up. <laughs> I'll put a link to our promo right up here. So yeah, anyway, Gravity Chase is a simple anti-gravity racer with a twist. Race along the floor, walls, and ceiling to achieve optimum racing lines. Got it. But you know, where have I seen this before? The idea of the gameplay taking place as a tube-style racer is not a novel idea by any means, but it can definitely make for some exciting moments, especially when you slam into your opponent who's sitting right next to you. <laughs> the controls are simple to pick up and play, and although there may be an argument for skill levels based on the learning the tracks and anticipating curves in the turns, I believe the game remains simple enough to remain a party game or a family favorite over the holidays. As you complete the races, you earn points that can be used in the garage to upgrade your racer and give a distinct advantage over your opponents. After grinding multiple races and cash grabs, I was able to fully upgrade my ride to easily leave the AI racers in the dust. There are options for switching up the gameplay. The game features 10 unique ships with customizable colors and power-ups. 16 tracks across multiple themed environments. One to four player split screen action, <laughs> duh. Boost and repair and arm your ship with in race power ups. Three exciting race types. We're talking arcade, combat, and eliminator. And I'm happy to report that all the achievements were fairly easily attainable. Although Dreamweaver 1984 over at In Depth was reporting that his last achievement, win 10 races, had glitched for him <laughs> and wouldn't pop. That stinks, bud, because I was able to grab the full thousand G right in about two hours flat. Between the low cost of entry, the quick, fast, and easy completion, and the four player local game for the kids, Gravity Chase left the farm with three and a half beasts out of five. Yep, well, that wraps up that review right there. <laughs> Here's some notes I took. <laughs> Where I put the keys to the truck. 
So, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So, if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see... Stardew Valley! Besides Stardew Valley or Call of Pootie, let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming titles. Contact 2. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on The Fog.